I shoot with an A6400, mainly for just casual cars portrait, but would like to make it a business. How did you start out? It's a really good question. But here are five things that you should not avoid when starting out your photography or filmmaking journey. And this is for anyone who really wants to do this as a full-time career, gig, freelance, or whatever you want to call it. Number one, minimize your gear, meaning you already have a camera. All you need is two lenses, a couple batteries, an editing software, Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, whatever works for you. And of course, SD cards, lighting gear. You could really start out on a full kit with like five, 600 bucks. Used, of course. It doesn't have to be brand new. Number two, you have to get very specific on what type of content or niche that you want to be in. Meaning, do you want to shoot just weddings? Do you want to shoot car photos and videos, corporate stuff? Me personally, I am in the hair industry, meaning I shoot for a lot of barbers, hair salons, people in the hair industry in general because it's a billion dollar industry. And I'm always meeting all types of people with barbers, hair styles when they come sit at their chair. So I'm networking, but I'm also able to solve a problem for people who are in this specific industry. Figure out what niche you want to be in and how you can solve a problem that they have. Number three, make sure you have agreements already. Meaning, if someone's asking you how much you charge, it just depends on the details of the project because every project is unique in their own different way. So let's hone in on your mission and what your goal is and I can give you a ballpark number. That way they can go ahead and express what they're looking for as opposed to them asking you how much do you charge for a video or photo shoot. The more you can get the client to open up to you, the more details you're gonna get and eventually you'll instantly know right off the bat how much you're gonna charge for that session or the value of that. And you can easily just hop on Google and just type in like photography or filmmaking agreements or contracts, but always call it agreement, never call it a contract because people find that intimidating. Number four, which is one of the most important things that you need to master and that's learning how to communicate with people in general. You're going to meet assholes. You're going to meet people who are just Karens and male Kens and they're gonna feel entitled. So through communication, you're going to be able to handle those situations accordingly and educate these people but also understand too, it doesn't matter if they're wanting to close a deal for $2,500. If the energy is not right, if you feel like they're just trying to undermine you or they're not taking you serious, it's always better to just let it go and move on to the next person or the next project. Because you could make $2,500 right off the rip, but you'll be miserable throughout the entire process. Not all projects are great projects, so just keep that in mind. That's why filtering out people is very, very important and understanding communication in general. That's what's gonna help you save a lot of time and not waste your own time or the other party's time when it comes to closing a deal. So to get really good at communication, read this book, Think and Grow Rich. Read this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And number five, which is very, very important, you must understand finances. You must understand your budgets. You must understand how much you need to price. You must understand money in general. Read this book. I will teach you to be rich. As a creator, we're always focused on the creative process, but not necessarily the finance process or the money aspect. You have to get really good at understanding money and how to leverage money and make it work in your favor. And if I were you, I would just reverse engineer this. Start off with understanding the language of money, get comfortable with what's the importance of money, how to use it, and then everything else. Because you can't be successful and be broke at the same time.